It's tremendously important to establish a two-way confidence between man and dog. And having established this faithful working relationship, it then permits a situation where you can tap the tremendous versatility of the Kelpie through its independent working style. And when I say independent, it will work independently of people and of commands. I mean, very often they work far better on their own than they do with you. Often when you're giving commands all the time, the dog says, for God's sake, shut up, will you, and let me get on with the job. I know more about it than you do. If the dog bringing the sheep down the lane and putting them in the yards is working the sheep to me, he's working to me, sometimes he's working for me, and all the time he's working with me. All this is human relevance. The dog working in relationship to the human. And of course, this is one of the reasons why we have the tea party system. Oh, here's young Tina. Look at little Teen. Hello, Teen. Tina, hello, Teen. Have a bit. Hello. Uh -huh. Have a bit. Have a bit. Have a bit. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Do you like that bit? Do you? Do you do? Often the little puppies come to afternoon tea, not always by design, but sometimes by their desire. They're red and tanny. They're the fattest ticks, aren't they? Lovely. You look nice. Dog. Oh, you're into the teacups, aren't you? We use this form of socialization where the puppies just come along and they talk with us and they're friendly and they don't have much fear at this stage because we haven't put fear into their minds. And we just let them rough and tumble around and play with us. And we like them anyway, that's why we're in the business. You're a dark dog. Once they start to really socialise and attach themselves to humans, then this is where we want them because, as we said in talking about human relevance, the dog has to work relevant to the human and to go with the human. And so this is the way we build it up by socialisation. And then as I go off down into the yards, the pup will follow me and then go straight to work. So what we're really looking at here is the exposure of the pup, which is still under eight weeks of age, Bring them all to back. sheep only for the second time. Here we see a young dog showing a strong heading instinct as the stock want to run away, they being a herbivorous creature, and the carnivore is off after them, trying to turn them back and hold them in a mob together. The other thing we can see here in little Tina is her tremendous tenacity, her boldness and her bark coming out where she can really apply force and pressure. But I also believe because of her breeding that as she gets older she'll still start to work a little bit wider. She won't come in quite as close. But we can remedy these things later on. At the moment we're showing her the fun and the excitement of following her volition. Tina, Tina. Good dog, ain't you? You're a good dog, Tina, ain't you? You've been very clever. You like the sheep, don't you? Hey? You reckon? Do you want to have another go? Yeah. 